week's all Raptors Burrito! Your segments for this week are your political girl Emily Wilson, your gadget team Karen Southern, and your sports rep. Yep, and we're gonna download it all for you in one quick breakfast burrito bite. Let's get to it. Ah! I've heard of Candid Camera, but this story will literally blow your mind. An assistant professor at New York University, Waffle Bilal, must have been tripping on some really good stuff when he reported that he wanted to surgically embed a camera in the back of his head. And no, this is not because he wants his friends and family to become the latest YouTube video sensations. It's actually for a museum installment called Third Eye. Wow. Talk about sacrificing for the love of art. Four! In Hollywood, California this week, six casting directors received death threats via their office telephone numbers. These phone calls were allegedly about an anonymous film currently in production. In completely unrelated news, Rumor Willis, Paris Hilton, Keanu Reeves, The Situation, Jay Wow, and Adrena Patrick have all been given parts in upcoming Piranha 14. Next up, we got your political girl, Emily Wilson. What is up, everybody? I'm Emily, your political girl, straddling all things Capitol Hill. Now that the election season is officially over, it's time to review this year's top election oops moments. So, without further ado, in no particular order, the Illinois Green Party gubernatorial candidate's name was misspelled on electronic voting machines in 23 wards most of which were in predominantly African-American areas. This typo allowed voters to elect Rich Whitey instead of Rich Whitney. <laughs> Oops. Stones Phones Inc. made over 50,000 automated campaign calls to residents in Nevada using Sandra Day O'Connor's voice to promote question number one on the ballot. The catch? They accidentally misprogrammed the calls to be sent out at 1 a.m. instead of 1 p.m. <laughs> Oops. California gubernatorial candidate Meg Whitman's campaign meant to post a Twitter link to an endorsement from the San Diego Sheriff's Department. Instead, they sent Twitter followers to a video of a cross-dressed Japanese man playing the bass guitar. Ugh. Oops! Funny enough, that man was elected governor of California. Not really. Murkowski's campaign had carefully instructed write-in voters how to spell her confusing last name. The only problem? She spelled her own last name wrong! <laughs> Oops! Funny thing is, she got elected. That actually is true. And the typos prevail! I'm Emily and that was your political foreplay for the week. She'll burn everything that reminds me of you. A man in Pittsburgh named Leonard Spagnolo had the same great idea to torch all of his pictures of his once beloved ex girlfriend. I don't think that Leonard was ever a Boy Scout because his little ritual ended up in an all out ferocious fire, which ended up getting him arrested for setting his neighborhood ablaze. Sorry, Leonard. I guess love is a battlefield. I am so curious about electronics. Gadget Geek, take it away. You like gadgets? I like gadgets. Who doesn't like gadgets? I'm Taryn Southern, your Gadget Geek, and here's what's awesome sauce in the world of gadgets this week. When it comes to miniature cameras, everyone gets all excited over the minnow. I say minnow schmino. I just got the HD Sony Bloggy. Same picture quality, but it's got a rotating lens, so when you're blogging, you can actually see yourself looking into the camera. Genius. Listen up, dudes, if you need a fun, discreet way of getting your girlfriend to shed a few pounds, I say get her the gift of We Fit. The new technology allows users to actually see themselves recreated on the screen, so your girlfriend can watch herself kick ninjas' asses or collect super awesome treasures. Your Call of Duty may have to take a back seat to her We Fit obsession, but at least she have a tight ass. For all you folks who hate paying for those awful cable packages and love free content, the answer to all of your problems is finally here in a tiny cute little box known as the Orb. It plugs right into your television and streams content like Hulu and ESPN for free with just a broadband internet connection. Awesome! Google TV, Apple TV, Foxy, you better watch your backs, yo. Once again, I'm Taryn Southern, your Gadget Geek. Check you next time. Suffering from depression, nausea, demon possessions? Well, fear not, all you fearers. The Catholic Church is holding a two day seminar in Baltimore to train priests and priestesses how to perform exorcisms. Applicants
Americans hoping to obtain said exorcism should know that it does not cure the behavior of cheerleaders, mother-in-laws, and or reality stars. <laughs> Yo, Jensen Reed, drop them beats. Sports rap. I know. Easy. <laughs> Jensen Reed. Yeah, sports rap, guess who's back? Zenyatta's on the track. Oh. She almost made history, but then missed it by a tongue. Damn. Big smiling Hosman, Cam Newton taking fun. Ching. Auburn, Boise, Oregon, who's number one? one? College basketball is here, and the Dukies top the polls, but Harrison Barnes, they fear. Uh -huh. Cause the Tar Heels got some talent, yep. the Big Ten looks real tough. Kinda. ACC is steady, Big East is playing rough. Ouch. NFL headlines, Sanchez in the Jets. Ballin'. Mike Vick is soaring, my fantasy team's a mess. Ah. Falcons on fire, burner turner running hard. Cowboys look like children playing pickup in the yard. Hey, buddy, buddy, spray cups looking real tight. It's a Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvard, Jimmy Johnson fight. I'm out on the pond, about to go catfishing. Drinking, make this mark. Y'all don't know what y'all missing. No, haha. <laughs> yeah, until next time, Jensen Reed. Which is sports rap, y'all. living in a cave, you may have heard something called WikiLeaks. Now they have leaked over a half a million U.S. government documents this year, and the largest U.S. military leak in history! Up until now, the Swedish site's founder has gone unscathed leaking American secrets until Thursday, when the Swedish criminal court issued an international arrest warrant for WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange on probable cause, saying he is suspected of rape molestation, and much like he accuses the U.S. of doing illegal use of force. <laughs> Seriously, dude, we do believe in free press, but not that free. Come on. That was amazing! Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for next week. We've got tons of new stuff for you. I'm Lauren. I'm Patrick. And I'm Cameron. Until next week, happy Thanksgiving! Gobble, 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 gobble! Right next For sure, you'll get your back up off the wall and get your feet on the floor. You see the boy at the bar with a glass so tall. When I'm done, baby doll, I'ma show you all the more. Right now we gon' party, but party give me some more. It's all the red club.